On the 26th of April, 1986, near the city of Pripyat in Ukraine, a disastrous catastrophe had taken place. The reactor Unit 4 of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant had broken down, which led to its explosion and subsequently to radioactive contamination of the vast area. In a short period of time, over 350,000 people were evacuated and resettled. A restricted zone was designated around this power plant, which extends to many kilometers. All buildings within this zone, including the surrounding city, were abandoned. At the beginning of February 1987, nine months after the disaster, a team of scientists from the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, which measured radiation in this exclusion zone, received signals that proved the existence of people operating in this area. Also, various unexplained anomalies had been discovered, which could have resulted from a type of radiation previously unknown to scientists. It turned out that near the city of Pripyat, the Swan Institute was also located here. Its name comes from the abbreviation Syndrome Without a Name, the term given to the group of symptoms that do not occur in any known and catalogued disease. The facility was unofficially conducting a research program on unprecedented and very disturbing neurological and psychological disorders for many years. After the disaster, the institute was omitted during the evacuation operation because it was not included on any map. Only a few people from the USSR Ministry of Internal Affairs knew about its existence, but after the Chernobyl accident, they chose not to perform rescue operations on its territory. Scientists received details regarding the institute's scope of activity from an anonymous person the facility was top secret and cut off from the rest of the world. People were sent there from all over the globe, and each medical case was unique in its own way. Because of the extraordinary abilities resulting from unexplored and undiagnosed diseases, patients were a threat to the environment. They were caged up and lived in strict isolation. This entire situation was kept secret from people outside the government, other than the few scientists who were made aware of the Institute's activities. Scientists from the Moscow Institute, experts from the General Nuclear Inspectorate of Ukraine, and the rescue staff decided to send a special research and rescue expedition immediately to clarify the source of the anomalies and to save people who might still be alive. The group was commanded by Alexei Tokovsky, a rescue specialist. After determining the exact coordinates of the facility, the group reached the place and got inside. However, all people were separated and lost contact with each other in unexplained circumstances. To all the people whose life changed irreversibly after the events of April 1986 in Chernobyl.
her medical case was exciting and nightmarish at the same time. 1. I have no idea why, but this monotonous and seemingly funny melody made this woman appear from practically nowhere. 3. It is a contrast of sorts. How a completely innocent sound was a foretelling or an omen of the atrocity to come. 9. Horrifying beauty. 4. Her medical case was exciting and nightmarish at the same time. 1. I have no idea why, but this monotonous and seemingly funny melody made this woman appear from practically nowhere. 3. It is a contrast of sorts. How a completely innocent sound was a foretelling or an omen of the atrocity to come. 9. Horrifying beauty. 4.
her medical case was exciting and nightmarish at the same time. 1. I have no idea why, but this monotonous and seemingly funny melody made this woman appear from practically nowhere. 3. It is a contrast of sorts. How a completely innocent sound was a foretelling or an omen of the atrocity to come. 9. Horrifying beauty. 4. For some time now, the dimensions have been increasing. It is time to end this. Luckily, we were able to finish the mind reader prototype. Connecting it to a human brain was troublesome at first, but the procedure gives expected results, and the device can be used after entering the intermediary room. Something incredible was achieved here. Something gargantuan. First there was Gagarin, and the first man travels into space. And now we are also multidimensional travelers. If only the world could hear about this.